Those of us who lived through the 2011 fires know it's always scary to see smoke in the Bastrop area. But today, it wasn't from a wildfire. It was set on purpose for research at Camp Swift. KXAN's Natalie Stoll has more on how new data could improve predictions about how a fire will move. This Camp Swift field is one large science experiment. Each instrument like this is collecting information about how fire moves. It's information that down the line could help protect your property. This is one of the first times wildfires have been studied like this. I'm on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm at an 8 or a 9, I'd say. Around 50 scientists, technicians, and firefighters set up equipment. Everything has to be dialed in just right. Once set, the fire spreads in just minutes. Wind speed and direction, how high the fire climbs, and even heat flux, or how hot the fire is, all measured. <laughs> And from the air, unmanned aircraft take pictures to track its path. Fire is controlled or affected by three things mostly. It's called the fire behavior triangle, uh, vegetation, terrain, and wind. Understanding those three things is key to predicting how fire will act. Better data going into fire behavior models means a better fire forecast. The intent is to end up with higher accuracy and more precise predictions so that we can let the first responders know how the event is going to deploy. It's information critical to an area still recovering from fire devastation. Uh, it, it's very personal one uh, with the fires that we've had here in Bastrop uh, getting a better understanding of modeling so we have a better idea what the fire uh, potentially will do is uh, is very critical to our needs. If weather conditions hold this spring, another research burn could take place in March. At Camp Swift, Natalie Stoll, KXAN News. Well, crews there also used remote sensing technology, LIDAR and SODAR to track those flames. The Texas Forest Service is working with the National Institute of Standards and Technology and several other agencies on this research.